Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about some of the formula auditing tricks. If ever you are working with a file which has been handed over to you, uh, you want to start with a certain ground with certain knowledge, prerequisite knowledge before you can give your own input. For example, if you are given this simple model which talks about sales growth, assumptions, how hard the cost behaving in the upcoming years and based on that, based on those assumptions, how are the sales cost and profit numbers being generated. Now, either you double click on these cells one by one and find out how the formulas are playing internally and how are they calculating the end profit or else if you want to get a quick glance of how are they moving you may go to formulas tab and there's something on the right hand side called show formulas notice there's a shortcut associated with show formulas too so first i click the button show formulas what does it do it quickly shows you all the formula at a single glance on the entire sheet if you click on the same button once again it goes back to normal the same thing you could have achieved by using these two keys on the keyboard one is control and the other is called back tick key which is residing just immediately above the tab key so i'm going to press those shortcut keys together control and back tick key you get the same effect i use this quite often before i start working on any file that has been given over to me by my colleague or by my clients so there goes the first trick show all formulas next this is another trick which shows you how are the formulas flowing from which sources. So if I keep my cursor on this particular cell and I say trace precedence, it shows me in graphical arrows form what are the numbers that are helping getting this answer on board. And in fact, if you want to go beyond the one level precedence, you may again select the cell and double click on trace precedence. Similarly, if I select one particular cell and I say double click on trace dependence, notice it shows dependence dependence. So it depends on how many times you click, single click or double click. If you don't want to show these arrows, you may simply say remove arrows. And in fact, if you pick up any cell who uses another cell from a different sheet, then how does it get shown up? I say trace dependence. Okay, there's no dependent. This must be the case for precedence. Let me select this cell and double click on trace precedence. Okay, it shows precedent and precedence precedence. And there's one window like sign which tells me that some cell has been referred from different sheet. I double click on this dotted line and it tells me that this is the cell. Let me select that and press OK. So oh, I'm taking to another sheet which is called test sheet. So that was the button based exercise, trace precedence and trace dependence. If you want a similar thing using a shortcut key, you as well may refer to these couple of shortcut keys, which I'm going to use right now. For example, I choose this cell and I'm going to press the shortcut key control third bracket open this one. So control third bracket open. It quickly chooses one level of precedence, which I can readily make it bold by using control B and control U for underline. Similarly, if I place my cursor on this green cell and I place the same shortcut key, control third bracket open, it takes me to one cell previous to it. Now, point number three is if I had referred to only one cell from a test sheet, let's say in this case 62, and I use control third bracket open, the same shortcut key, it takes me there. But now the question is, how do I come back? I will press F5. F5 is activating the go to box and automatically the origin where you came from that has already been posted here. So all I need to do is press enter. So right now, what did I use? I use the shortcut key control third bracket open. That is to go to the source. And then if you want to return back, then you use this shortcut key that is F5 and enter. So basically it's going to work like this. Uh, control third bracket open and F5 and enter. So it's like moving back and forth. Similarly, if you want to trace all the precedents, not just one level using a shortcut key, then you start using these two shortcut keys for precedence and dependence respectively. So control shift third bracket. Yep, it chooses all the cells. If I color them, you'll find out which cells are they pointing to. So these are a couple of shortcut keys which helps you audit the entire sheet using uh, quick navigation shortcut keys.